Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This one will be regarding the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. How are they viewing you or this connection? What are their feelings towards you? Um, what are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you? We're going to look at all of that today. All right, for Capricorn spirits, angels, guides, what messages, guidance do you have for Capricorn regarding their connection at this time? What's going on in their connection? We have soulmate and keep an open mind. Okay, so I feel like there's someone um, in your vicinity here that is a soulmate for you or there's a soulmate connection. But there's something about that that you either are not expecting or it's not what you have in mind. It might not even be the person you have in mind. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this connection for Capricorn? What else do we need to know about this connection? Spirit? We have tied up and wishing well. So someone's a bit feeling stuck, feeling burdened, trapped. And I feel like they have a desire, a wish that, you know, because they're in this situation, maybe they have something in mind that they want or desire. Now your wish is being granted. Okay, can I get one more? What's going on for Capricorn? Oh, I got two. Reach out and time out. Okay, so someone could be reaching out here at a certain time. Time is of the essence. So I'm getting like quickly, like someone doing this quickly, taking actions at the bottom of the deck there. So let's see what we get with the tarot. Someone could be reaching out to you, um, Capricorn or vice versa. I feel like someone wants to talk about their desire, their wish. Um, perhaps they're stuck in a situation right now that makes them kind of wish or or you know it's almost like when you're having a bad day or a bad situation and your mind kind of just wanders to i wish this was like this or i wish things were better that's kind of what i'm picking up here okay so let's get down these energies i want to know spirit what's going on in the connection between capricorn and their person and how are they thinking feeling about each other I need to know Okay, the Hermit, Virgo energy, Temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy, and the Magician. Wow, all major arcanas. Okay, I'm going to put down the energies on your side and the energies for your person over here. Wow, major arcana. Okay, so someone's wanting to do something, make something happen with the Magician. Something that they've been thinking about on their own here with the Hermit. Maybe they've been listening to their intuition to what their you know that small voice has been telling them um but with temperance reverse time is there's something here possibly with time more time is needed patience is needed maybe things haven't quite come together yet what's at the bottom of the deck seven of wands so this is about standing firm uh being brave against any challenge willing to fight for what you want hmm Now this is what's going on in your connection here. So both of your energies are here, Capricorn, you and your person. So take it as a resonance. One of you has a goal in mind, at least one of you, but there's something that's not quite in balance yet with temperance reverse. Okay, please for Capricorn. In there. Well, let's start with the Hermit. What can you tell me about the Hermit? Why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here? The hermit is also someone that's retreated, is kind of away. Um, what can you tell me about the hermit? Okay, hold on, I dropped one. The star, Aquarius energy, six of cups, knight of swords, 
the higher font Taurus energy I feel like this is someone's desires you know how I was talking about how someone has like a wish a desire it's this and it's like they want to communicate this desire with the knight of swords or I don't know they have something to say but they're stuck two of swords undecided unsure Hmm. This hermit is thinking a lot about this. It's like someone's kind of retreated on their own. It's like, you know, dreaming, fantasizing, wishing for something very nice here. Six of Cups and the Star. Almost like they're wishing for a soulmate. But the Knight of Swords is here. So it's almost like they, they have a message. A message they haven't been able to send with the Two of Swords. A message, it's almost like they're undecided about whether to send this message. Now the higher font is here. So I'm thinking about someone that wants to be, um, it's, it's very traditional. They want to do things right. So why is temperance reverse? Why is temperance reverse? Why is temperance reverse? Knight of Cups, Four of Cups. Hmm. Maybe they're worried about rejection. That the other, you know, whoever wants to bring this cup is worried that the other person will not be interested. Maybe they are wondering if the other person will think that you took too long to bring me this cup. Tell me more about Temperance Reverse. Eight of Pentacles. Whoever's bringing this cup, I feel like is, is this hermit. Someone willing to work hard, back up their cup with effort and energy. Maybe they're working up the courage with strength card here, Leo energy, because they very well could be rejected. Maybe they, they're wondering too, you know, if they've been very far from you or haven't been in communication with you. Oh my God, my table is just moving like crazy. Hold on, let me put this under here so it doesn't move so much. Okay, perfect. Um, maybe they're wondering, you know, it's been so long since I've talked to Capricorn or, you know, it's been so long since we've had any sort of interaction. Yeah, the moon. I wonder how it will go. This person, I, I don't think they, um, I don't think this person is someone that you expect this from. The moon, Pisces energy. So let's look at the magician. What's this magician about? Why is the magician here? Why is the magician here? King of Cups, Eight of Swords. So they want out. They want out of their situation, whatever situation they're stuck in. Um, this person could also be fearful, you know, afraid of taking action. The Two of Swords, Four of Cups, and Eight of Swords are giving me very similar energy. Almost like someone goes back and forth about whether to come forward, you know. Uh, they're undecided, unsure. Um, despite the fact that this is, they already know what they want. They just don't know if they have it in them to do it at this time. Maybe they're stuck somewhere. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. This is someone that I feel is motivated by love with this King of Cups. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is it? Yeah, this person's holding back Four of Pentacles. There's the Empress and the King of Wands. So it's almost like maybe they view you as an Empress-like energy, someone that, it's like they're intimidated. They're intimidated when they come to bring you this offer. Page of Pentacles. 
they're very drawn to you with the King of Wands. Um, and the Magician, I'm almost getting like, I typically don't get this with a Magician, but like a very strong urge. Like I need to get this done. I need to do this. So let's look at your energies down here. On your side, I have the Ten of Swords reverse and the Four of Pentacles reverse. Okay. And on your person side, I have the Ace of Cups reverse and the Nine of Pentacles reverse. What in the world? Let me get some energies here. Spirit, can we get some more insight, please, into the energies between Capricorn and this other person? Can we get some insight, please? Tell me about Capricorn's energies. Feel free to flip these energies, Capricorn, if they resonate more. Tell me about Capricorn's energies in this connection. What do we need to know? Pure seduction, poetic justice. Okay, some of you, you've been betrayed. What? Someone cheated on you. But you didn't let them get away with it? Or someone betrayed you. You didn't let him get away with it. Okay, I, I hope that's not all of you because that would... It is very strong energy here. It's like, okay, tell me about this other person. I don't want to focus too much on that. Tell me about this other person. We'll see what else comes out. Burdened heart and happy ending. This person is not doing well. Whoever this is on this side, Ace of Cups is reverse. Heartbreak, disappointment, and an attachment, an emotional attachment. This person, it's almost like there's um, almost like depression or anxiety tied to the is is like this is the attachment that they're dealing with now you have the ten of swords reverse so i feel like whatever betrayal happened i think you're overcoming it capricorn or at least i hope you are tell me about this ten of swords reverse why is the ten of swords why is the ten of swords reverse The sun, okay. Why is the Ten of Swords reverse? It's the Ten of Swords reverse. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you were betrayed. Something happened here where you were very deeply affected by it. I'm not sure what it was. I don't even know if it was this person or if this just happened to you in, in love or relationships. I think you go back and forth. I, it's almost like one day you could be very happy and you see the, it's almost like you see the light at the end of the tunnel. And the other day it's like you're back in despair mode, feeling sorry for yourself or feeling alone. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles reverse. Typically, this is a card about letting go. Why is the Four of Pentacles reverse? Pentacles reverse. Ten of Swords again. Yeah. <sighs> Something happened to you here. A bad ending, betrayal, heartache. Someone, so, something that hurt very badly. Yeah, Ten of Wands. I think that this is something that you would need to let go of. To be happy again whatever this is needs to be let go um needs to be overcome spirit any advice for capricorn regarding this burden this ending these feelings they've been dealing with any advice guidance for capricorn regarding this ten of swords ten of wands what do they need to know spirit Love yourself. So the bottom of the deck. Good news on the way. Okay, Capricorn. So love yourself. Maybe this is a situation where someone didn't... Maybe there, it was because of insecurities. Maybe this person messed with your confidence. 
someone's thinking about you. It's this hermit. I wonder if it's the same person. You have poetic justice here. So once I see this energy of poetic justice, it's almost like they weren't able to get away with it. Um, justice will be yours, Capricorn. Um, whoever hurt you, they're not going to be living peacefully. You know, I, I, I get that. But I wonder if this is this person here that they've hurt you and they know they've hurt you. Or if this is someone completely new. Tell me about the Ace of Cups reverse with the nine of pentacles reverse this could be an apology if this is the person that hurt you tell me about the ace of cups reverse and the nine of pentacles reverse seven of swords yeah i think it was this person two of cups get the ace of cups reverse and the nine of pentacles reverse the fool. I think this person wants to talk and, and fix things or talk about what happened because they feel a strong connection to you. But I don't know if this is something that you can move past from. That's going to be up to you. Can we get some insight, please? For Capricorn. What is this person thinking, feeling when it comes to Capricorn? What is this other person thinking, feeling? I'm working on myself. What is this person thinking, feeling when it comes to Capricorn? What are they thinking or feeling? I want to see you. What else? I'm struggling. Bottom of the deck, I feel trapped. Okay. Capricorn, there's a few ways that I can interpret all of these energies now that they're out and on the board. If this person hurt you in the past, I feel like not only did it deeply affect you, but it affected them as well. They have not been able to know peace since that happened. Um, I don't know if it was something major i have a feeling that it could have been because you have the ten of swords ten of wands it was a very painful ending an ending that you still kind of carry with you an ending that you need to let go of but it's very hard because i feel like this person is tugging at your energy they're thinking about you it's almost like they're bringing you into their orbit orbit um because they cannot it's almost like they can't sit still with what's happened um Tell me about this burdened heart. Tell me about this burdened heart, please. It's almost like you're you're marrying each other, but I feel like, I don't know. I, I wonder if this person is right in that you would reject them. Yeah, Ace of Cups and Temperance. They want to fix things, Sagittarius energy, because they still have love for you. I think their wish is to have a happy ending with you. However, Spirit is telling you to love yourself. So, can we get some insight, please, into this love yourself energy? Can we get some insight, please, for Capricorn into this love yourself energy? The hangman, okay? See things from a different angle. This is definitely keep an open mind. Tell me more about the love yourself. What do we need to know? Ace of Pentacles. So there's definitely an offer here that I think it's almost like Spirit is saying, look at things from a different perspective. I don't think, I'm not going to sit here and say to take someone back because it's going to be different for all of you. It's almost like Spirit wants you to be very open and honest with yourself. Love yourself as you think about this offer, right? Love yourself as you think about what's coming towards you. Um, thank you so much for watching Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.